Okay. I'm back. Now, it's been 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So, I have a uh, strained chips months. Look, this is all you get when you cook the bad boys down. That's it. <laughs> now, Andrew, that's 20 pounds of chitlins out of five pound bags. I don't know what they're doing with them. I don't eat them. I don't really buy them. I'm doing this for people. Imagine if they didn't add all that water that they put up in there. They masking them with the water. So, anyway, it's to your preference how you want to eat your stuff. So, remember, we seasoned that water, right? I didn't start it because I didn't want to uh, overcook nothing that's in there because it's going to be good. Good to go. This is a pressure cooker. It's made to put pressure on your cooking. And it's going to marinate all of the flavors inside of these chitlins. I did not season these when I did it. I did the first boil. And it was little. I wish I could have showed y'all. It was very little oil. And very little debris. The foam or whatever. And I also kept the strainer in the thing and let it strain. And um, run that water off on it real good so it got all of that up out of there. So now, all I'm going to do is take these chitlins, right? And I'm just going to go in and just drop them on up in there. Drop them on up in there. Remember, the water's already flavored. So you ain't got to worry about nothing. Just put them up in there. Put them up in there. They don't look like nothing right now. But when they get done, my God. Shit. I might try one. But I'm not. <laughs> I wish I would. Okay, so we're gonna put these on up in this crock pot. I mean up in this Instapot pressure cooker. Just cut your cooking time down. As I told you, after this I'm gonna let it cool off and I'm gonna refreeze these. And you know when you freeze them and you want to throw them again, ain't nothing but more flavor going to get infused in them. And they're going to be super tender. But we're going to get them tender right now. Tender enough. Because when I take them back out and recook them and warm them up in my uh, crock pot, they're going to cook just a little bit more. So we ain't going to do too much because you don't want them to turn into mush. Don't nobody want no mush. So I want to make sure... That I go up in this pot and I soak them down as much as I can. We don't need no more water up in here. This is enough water. Enough water. Look at that. It almost look good right now, don't But it ain't. Mm mm. It ain't done yet. I'm just cooking this on the stove. Some people cook this for about five hours, four hours, six hours, depending on how you like it. Up in here, we probably only gonna need maybe one and a half, maybe two hours in this crock pot. I mean, in this uh, pressure cooker, and you go do that. Don't ask if this one is not clean, and then this one, cause this one white and this one ain't. That's how chitlins look. Don't come on here with that bullshit. I'm telling you now, you gonna get cussed out. You gonna get cussed the fuck out. I got my chili peppers in there. Before I start this, I'm gonna show you else what I'm gonna add up in there. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I will tag my YouTube channel up in there so y'all can also follow me up in there. Over there, should I say. I'm resting off my knife right now. That's what y'all hear. Because I'm going to go up in there with some onion and green peppers. And I may put maybe two or three celery whole sticks up in there because all of that stuff is going to be poured out of there. I'm trying to worry about that. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay. So I got these. Green pepper. And they're going to be red and yellow peppers. <clears throat> some more minced garlic so <clears throat> I'm gonna 
working with my counter space right here because I'm the only one record. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this up just a little bit so y'all can see me do my little chopping right here. This is real goddamn granite. You can't cut it. It's real granite. I'm not saying like you're high class or nothing like that. One thing I am gonna add up in there, minced garlic. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. I gotta go get some more. Garlic is good for you, and it ain't gonna hurt this because they go dis they go disappear after you cook them. Just go add just a few up in there. That's it. Just a, probably a tablespoon of garlic. You already put your garlic cup up in there. I got me some celery. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put two stalks. Cut in half. Let me rinse these off. In one minute. Rinse those off real good. You don't have to slice them or dice them. Or nothing like that. Just make sure you get the dirt off whatever. These are clean though. Just take this little end off of it real quick. So I don't want to be on there puffing and puffing. Take the leaves off. So, what we gonna do? Just stick them up in there, cause that's gonna be flavor. They're not gonna overcook. You'll be able to take those out, right? Then you'll go in with an onion and cut it in half. That's it. Just cut it in half. Take your peel off. Of course, you know that. Don't put no damn peel up in there, I'm telling you. And then be talking about some, yeah, Polo told me that he ain't told you shit like that. I'm gonna just rinse these off for the hell of it. Because they really are already clean once you take that skin off of it, but still rinse off your vegetables, you guys. Especially when you cook it for other people. You do your shit the way you want to do it. When it's you eating it. Just go in just like that. Some people chop theirs up. They want to look pretty. When you doing your gourmet shit. I told you I'm cooking for some old school people. They don't want all that dice shit up in their shit. They just want some simple chitlins. This is just for the taste. <clears throat> I had some green. Well red, yellow. And orange peppers that I had used already. They already been. Chopped up a little bit. What I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to rest them off and take the rest of the gut out, which are the seeds and the stems. Give it a good rinse. Make sure ain't no stick on there. Right? Give that a good rinse. Get the yellow one. Because they got to be used anyway. I don't want them to go bad. So, use them. That flavor. Use your shit. Don't let it sit up in the fridge where it go bad. Use it for something. <clears throat> That's the yellow one. Then I have an orange one. Get the gut out. If you got any black on your green peppers or onion, and it ain't all over, it's welted, just cut that off. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Just as long as your bell pepper ain't rotten. Okay. Rinse all the seeds out. Make sure you get your seeds out. Because that's definitely what you don't want floating up in there. Although we do got black pepper seeds up in there. But, I mean, um, red pepper seeds. People know what that is already. So, you ain't got to do nothing. the onion and everything go cook that to the side move this cord just go to my uh my ring like just move that out the way just give it just one cut down the middle that's it put it up in there cut it down the middle just put it there because you go grab all of that up out of there when it's done and i know i had somebody tell me that they got a 
crock pot. I can't remember who the hell it was. Somebody was telling me all of this here is gonna be washed. I got my sink over here with bleach. You are ready. I told you I keep my shit clean. Let me clean up as I go out in my work area. <clears throat> clean that up. Real simple. Grab it and clean it. Okay, let's bring this forward. I don't know if y'all can see that. So, this is how you work your uh, Instapot uh, uh, pressure cooker. We're going to go two hours. we definitely going to go on high. So, goddamn, shit, I got to remember how to work the motherfucker too long. So, it's off right now. So, you definitely got to cut it on. So, we're going to go pressure cook. Right? No? That ain't how it go? God damn. Okay, there we go. Not slow. Not slow We're going to go pressure level. That's it. No. Okay. Stew. I think you do stew. That's it. So it's on high pressure to tell you less normal or more. We're going to go to more. Wait. Wrong one. So what is it? Oh, pressure level low. Oh, it's already on there. So it's telling you where to go. You want to go more. So it's on It's on normal. So we go push it up. Let's do... Is this a pressure cooker? Let's do... Because I said about two hours, right? An hour and a half, whatever. We just go do this first and see where we at. Because you can always come back. We're going to do 145 on here, right? Oh, here it go. The pressure cook all the way down here, child. Go to pressure cook, girl. What is you doing? Okay. Here. So we on pressure cook now. You don't want to keep nothing warm. Pressure level is on high. Push it up. Back to 145. That's an hour and 45 minutes. And we're going to let it do its thing. This cuts your cooking time down in half, you guys. So that's why you're probably thinking I didn't cook them long. This pressure cooker is going to handle all of that for you. Anybody that know, no. If you got one. All right. So now that that's out the way, you want to put your lid on. Right? Lock it. It's going to make that sound. Now, it says on. Make sure that your valve... Right here, you got one for release, and then this locks it. Keep it on here. No, put it on seal, I'm sorry. So keep it here, and then when you let it go, you will know when it's reached its pressure because it's a valve in here that'll pop up right here if you see it. So right now it's locked in, so the pressure's going to lock in. <clears throat> it's going to build up. I'm going to wait until it do that. So y'all can see that. So y'all can see that. Let me know what y'all cooking for Thanksgiving. What what y'all got going on out there? Who know how to cook and who pretending how to cook? Cause I be seeing y'all on Facebook and my guy, I be like, Ooh, baby, they don't, you can't handle it. They be gourmet. They be this. You be. You be like, God damn. You need a couple more lessons. Or something. Because, uh, I wouldn't feed the dog or something. That shit y'all be having. And you know what? You might come on here and say the same thing about my black ass. But guess what? It's cool. Because anybody that ever eat for me, they already know what Polo do in the kitchen. They used to say I smothered every damn thing. You damn right I will. Okay. We're going to wait for that, uh, build up. It's definitely warming up. It's not going to take it no time to build up. Now, because I'm cooking this on my uh, countertop, when you vent, don't have it underneath your cabinets and stuff. All this is brand new. So I kind of bring this mine forward a little bit. And then when I do come out of venting, I'll turn it around so the steam could escape and not ruin your uh, cabinets if you got white. Because my kitchen is 
pretty much thing is still in white. So, let me know what y'all cooking. Did I tell y'all everything I, I'm doing? I said I'm doing the turkey. I'm doing uh, rib tips. I got a whole big gourmet Martha Stewart ham out there I got from the butcher. I'm doing greens. I'm doing um, dressing. Greens dressing. Of course, the baked macaroni and cheese. And um, dinner roll. That's it. Nothing else. I'm not doing... Uh, although, this is a lot, right? It is a lot of food. I got uh, people coming over as well. And I know my other family, my auntie and them, they cooking they down the street from me. I might... I'm going to slide through there, too. But uh, for my company that's coming, we go eat really, really good. And I got a feast. And uh, this is my first holiday here at my new place I, uh, that we bought. And life has been great for me. Very great. Got a whole lot of stuff that I didn't post up or nothing. I'm not really boastful and things like that. I got me a new car. Everybody know that I like Chrysler. End up going to get me a, a, a brand new Chrysler 300. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay. We're going to let that build up this pressure. <clears throat> it's working. So you don't have to press start or nothing. Once you fill it up, it's going to start doing what it's doing. Right now, y'all probably can't feel it, but it's heating up. And it's on. <clears throat> when you see that valve pop up, it's wretched as max. And also with these, because people don't know how to use them. When it says on, you don't have to press nothing or start or nothing. When the timer begins, on the time that you put your food on, it'll start and you'll know that it has reached its uh, pressure on the inside. And that's how you work that. That's for whoever uh, asked me they don't know how to work their uh, pressure cooker. <clears throat> my videos will get be getting better. This is the first time me doing a video, and of course I'm doing it by myself, so I'm trying not to give y'all a wiggly video, although I can take y'all off of that for a moment. Because who wants to just stay at the damn crock pot, right? Bring it on me. Mm-hmm. Bring it over. Okay. Look a little rough, y'all. It's late at night, and it's Monday, too. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this video, give it to y'all tonight or tomorrow. Today was Monday, so it was Monday night football, I think, or whatever. So, we're going to do that. Let me know what else kind of videos y'all want to do. Because I'm doing my cooking videos, I'm starting, or whatever. And I'm thinking about um, incorporating stuff. You know, everybody say... Oh, you're so funny. You should do your... Oh, you can cook. You should do... I'm thinking about doing both of them together. Let me know things y'all probably want to hear. Hear me talk about. Just cut up. Anybody that know me know that I am very comedic. And I say what the fuck I want to say out of my mouth. Because it's my mouth and not yours. As anybody should say. I'm an adult, right? Take care of my damn self. Let me know what y'all want to talk about. Any uh, suggestions, any recipes, anything you want to see me cook, I'll do that. And even talk about, I can talk about anything. I'm relatable. So, yeah. I'm going to keep hitting y'all with videos back to back when I do cook. When I'm cooking, this thing is still building up. It's getting hotter and hotter. Let me make sure it don't burn my cord, dog. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I ain't going to do that Okay, let me cut this light off. <clears throat> Do y'all leave y'all uh, kitchen oven light on as a night light? Stop doing that. That's not what it's for. It's not a damn night light. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. But I guess I might as well just say it's your shit. You can do whatever you want with it, right? So if you do it as a night light, use it as a night light. Y'all, it's late. I know I'm a little dry. I know I'm a little dry. 
Cause it's late. And uh, them children took a lot out of me today. Next year I'm not cooking no goddamn children for nobody, especially if I don't if I don't eat them. Because sitting there, you do 20 pounds of chitlins. And you probably get about 10 pounds out of them after you, not even 10, maybe 7, no, maybe 6 pounds afterwards. And you're the only one doing the work. It's a lot to do. And I wanted to do this early because I do the cooking here at my home a lot. So I've been getting a whole lot of things out of the way. So that when it's time to cook, I don't have a lot to do. Because I do have a lot to do. I'm breaking out the barbecue grill. My oven going to be on. Um, I'm going to ask my dad if he could do a couple of things. But I don't want to put too much on them. Because when I do cook, and anybody who know me know this. When I'm in the kitchen, I don't really like people in the kitchen with me. Mm -mm. I don't need you telling me what to do, how to do it, how to cook it. I know how to do it. And also, I be in my own groove. Like, cooking is therapeutic to me. I like to cook. And I like to serve people. And when I'm hosting, only thing you have to do is just come and enjoy yourself. Bring a drink. Bring your own stuff. But please don't bring no, don't, don't bring no plates. No, 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 uh, meals. Mm-mm. We don't need that. I got everything here. We're going to eat already. I'll cook here for you. I'm not saying I don't trust nobody cooking, but I got it. Just bring yourself some ice, pop, cakes, pies, that. Don't bring no food, child. Please don't. Mm-mm. I want to make sure that I got it. Got it on the right way now. Because I do got it on normal. Okay. I guess it's doing what it's doing. It's building up. It's definitely building up. And y'all let me know. Look, share the content. It won't hurt you to share. I will be um, also putting my link to my YouTube channel on here. I'm starting on Facebook because a lot of people know me on here than my YouTube channel. Because I really don't do nothing on YouTube anyway but watch YouTube videos. And um, y'all go on there and follow me because after this, a lot of content will be posted on both. But I will be posting a lot of like videos with the music. And I could do what I want to do over there. I could cuss the way I want to cuss. And you might see anything dealing with me. Dealing with me, you might get anything. So I want to be able to do that and boogie with y'all, jam with y'all. You know, whatever. Vlogging or just the average day of my life around the house. I got plants everywhere. You might see me decorating. As you can see, I do decorate. This is just a portion of things. The rest of it will come. It will come. And me hanging out with my friends, family, real deep conversations I do have. And y'all will get a little bit of all of that, all of that, all of that. I don't know if y'all had noticed I had been losing some weight or whatever. You know, I'm good, right? Skin looking pretty good. Hands ashy because I've been washing all day. Wash your dishes to clean up by yourself as you cook. Of course y'all know that and I'm drinking my wine. I ain't gonna show the label on here until they, uh, <laughs> you know, start sponsoring a motherfucker. Mm hmm. See, I got it on this normal. Now, I don't remember how to take it off a of normal and put it on high, so it's taking a little slower time building up. I got the book somewhere around here. I'll get it. I was just going to go on here and look and see who's commenting like I was live. Stupid. Tired. What time is it? What, what time is it? 11.59, almost 12 o'clock at night. Um, I'm playing around with the edit videos to see how to edit and stuff. I'm kind of new to all of this. Um, I'm not used to, I'm, well, I'm not not used to making content because years ago, if anybody remember, I had a character. <laughs> that I was playing when I was doing dub smashes. 
that was a different type of edit though because a lot of that edit when it looked slow motion and stuff i was actually moving slow motion to make it look like that so i'm using these other apps to see how to edit the videos better and um how that goes it's a little bit of a headache but i'm learning and that's that's a good thing so you learn how to do your things out here i hear it uh I hear it bubbling up up now. Of course, I can't take the lid off to show y'all because I don't want this motherfucker to blow up in my face, correct? But um, I guess I'll come back to y'all and show you the end product because I'm going to let it sit and cool and then I will be bagging them. And my Ziploc bags that I have that I keep. And they will go back in the deep freezer until Thanksgiving Eve. Get this out the way now. I'm telling you. Dealing with this is too much. And plus, it took up a whole four bags of chickens to get that much out. Took up a lot of space in my deep freezer for you to get that. It ain't nothing up in there but water. They need their ass look for that. They do. Y'all like my cup. Shout out to my auntie. I know this is backwards because the camera is facing me. I don't have nobody to record, so everything just reversed. But it's a polo. I wish I could turn it upside down, but my drink will fall out. It's a polo. Thank you, Laura, for my cup. Birthday cup. Still got it. Take it everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. It ain't nothing like some wine. I be trying to back down from uh, drinking a lot of hard liquor at home, but I do have my wine though. It's very healthy for you. It's a healthier option for you, should I say, than drink hard liquor every day. You don't want to do that. And, once again, y'all, it, 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 it takes nothing out of your time to share the content. It would definitely not be this boring going forward. And um, I will have somebody to record me and inter interact a little bit more so that it'll be a, lo a lot more interesting and enjoyable and fun and comedic laughing and all of that. I love that stuff. I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm excited. Now, I did put those potatoes. I discarded those potatoes that I put it up in those shipments when I had them on the first boil. I only did the first boil because these were not nasty chitlins. Those was Danish Crown. You could get them anywhere, really, but they had a really good sale on them at Pete's. So I know I'm looking this way, so it looked like I'm looking down. I'm supposed to be looking at the goddamn uh, the camera up there, so it looked like I'm looking at you. Anywho, go to Pete's. Get them. I think they was like uh, $20, 20, $22, $24 a bag. It won't hurt. If you like chitlins, people go out and buy their chitlins, whatever. I went to Jewel's today and saw that lady with that red bucket of chitlins. Lord knows, before we had Aunt Bessie and all these other people, that was the bucket of chitlins people got. And I remember seeing my auntie and my grandmother and everybody um, when Williams Inn was first on 57 in Ashland. And baby, they be up and they're pulling all kinds of stuff off them chitlins, just going to work. And they will have buckets of them. Buckets of them. Mm -mm. I can't do that. Give me a little something. A little more cleaner. And I don't mind. I don't mind. But I've learned through the years of watching them do it and do it. And my stepmom doing it. And, and people cleaning their chitlins or whatever. And, you know, it's just like rolling the blunt. Although I don't smoke weed no more. I used to be a heavy smoker. I still know how to pearl the blunt. That's something you'll never forget. Nothing you'll never forget. And so making, cooking and making food is something that I'll never forget because I always do it and I still do it. And uh, shout out to Williams Inn. That's on 22nd in Michigan, 2210 South Michigan. Make sure y'all go down there and support. For real, food good. Straight up. I'm talking about straight up. You know how you get all of those uh, recommendations to try this restaurant, try that restaurant, and you get there, it really don't be good. 
I don't be liking that. Like, I'd rather go somewhere where the food real motherfucker good, and I could eat. For real. Mm -mm. Make sure y'all uh, hit us up. My family been um, in business for a long time, so y'all go down and support and whatnot. We open seven days a week from 12 to 12. Different times on different days. Stay posted at the flyers and stuff. And yeah, so I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's, let's see if you can hear it. It's building up. That's how you know the Instapot is working. So I did do it for an hour and 45 minutes. It's on the normal pressure. I'm going to figure out how to kick it back up there to that, uh, to that high pressure though. I got to remember how to do it. I think you're supposed to press your pressure cooker symbol that's down here lit up. I think you're supposed to press that until you get your desired pressure cook. Now I thought about it. You hear that? And then you'll hear it stop. Let me show you. That's the valve finna ready to go up. Uh-oh. Go down. Oh, well, it'll stop me. See, god damn. The legs stuck over here. <laughs> Underneath the uh, dishwasher. But it just went up. So, these shipments is uh, going. I'm going to be up for an hour and 45 minutes, clearly. Y'all probably will be asleep or out at a hydrate or something or whatever y'all doing. And I will. Uh, Played up a bowl of it just so you could see it, but I will be freezing these for Thanksgiving, so I will be back. Okay, <sighs> now we're back. They're done. Now I didn't let it go the whole uh, hour and forty-five. I stopped it. Excuse that noise. Let me cut the key. But look here, can y'all see up there? Let me get a little bit closer. Now, see the vegetables? I didn't let them go too long because you don't want it to turn too mush. And I told you I'm going to reheat these up again on Thanksgiving so they're going to be really tender. But they're tender right now. So I didn't let them go the whole, the whole uh, hour and 45. They was on there for about a good hour on normal cook. What we're going to do now is we're going to discard all the vegetables. I told you they were just enough for flavor. We're going to get rid of them. Because the people that's eating it, they don't want to see them. And that's fine. Some people just like it old school. Old school chipmunks. You know? So we're going to discard those. I'm going to take one or two out. To show you just how tender they are at this moment. Of course, when I recook them or put them in the crock pot, they're going to be even softer, like butter. They should be able to melt in your mouth. As you can see, the vegetables, is they did their job. So I'm just getting them out. And it's real easy to see that old chili. Take them out. Now, the onion, probably got to fish around a little bit for them. They wasn't that big. They go one. We're going to take him out. They go another bell pepper. Take him out. <clears throat> now, depending on how you like to eat them, these vegetables here are good. So if you want to have them on the side and cut them up, you can. Do your stuff how you want to do it. Told you that. 
I'm just showing you another way of cooking chitlins. You like them the gourmet way, do them the way you do them. The people I'm cooking it for, they don't really care for all of that. They just want the chitlins. That's the style of the show. But ain't nothing wrong with making your stuff look pretty. You're supposed to. Presentation is everything. But for me, presentation isn't. It's about your flavor and what it tastes like. Because it can look pretty and taste terrible. Tell me. You don't want that. This water is, this broth, should I say, that it has cooked in, is seasoned to perfection. So I know these shitless got all of that in there. When you refreeze them, and it's going to marinate all over again. When it thaw out, it's going to be even better. Now, let's dig one out and cut it on the plate. I got a paper plate here. Just so you can see. And no, I did not cut these up. You let people cut their own chitlin up. Some people do. I'm not. So, let's go up in there and get us a nice piece. Look at that one there. See that? We'll put it on that plate. Can you see that plate down there? Now look at that. Look at this. This is the butter knife. Nothing sharp. Watch how that. Just butter. You see how that cut? Look. You don't even have to cut it. Just pull it. That's tender. Really, really good. That's a chicken. I will tell you how the, the broth tastes. Good. Season to perfection. Really good, y'all. It don't have no chitlin, real bad smell to it. As you can see, the grease that it created on its own is to a minimum. There's really no grease up in there. Look at that. Not like that. Look at that. I'm going to add these back because I don't even... I would really like to try them because they smell so good. I wish you could smell what I smell. But I just can't wrap my psyche around doing that. This is the bench bag. Let me put this over here. I will be freezing these. These are chitlins for Thanksgiving. I'm going to let this pot cool off. And that is that. Look at that. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at those chitlins right there. Cleaned. Seasoned. And they're going to be even more seasoned when I get through with them for Thanksgiving. And because I'm so tired, you guys, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm going to let this sit out for a few. I'm going to set my alarm clock so I can bag them up. I put them in the freezer and that'll be it. Remember to like, subscribe, follow, comment, give your feedback. Let me know what you think and what y'all doing. What you cooking? <laughs> oh, oh, that was a lie. Okay, I thought I had a book in my life. Anyway, I'll holler. Bye bye.